The global climate is changing. The resulting environmental deterioration and food shortage is seriously impacting our society. As this topic gains more and more attention, scientists want to more accurately understand the effects of environmental factors, such as temperature, moisture, and light, on plant growth and development. And thus, a facility that can computerize all environmental details of plant cultivation was created. It is the Phytotron. Environmental conditions in Phytotron, such as temperature, moisture, and illumination, can be set to create a precise greenhouse through accurate computerization, thus helping us to understand the effects of environmental changes on plant growth, plant development, and genetic characteristics. These research results are used to advance our technology in crop cultivation and production. Agronomy professor Hu Sheng Lu at National Taiwan University has used NTU Phytotron to do research on crop growth and development for many years. 特别的地方呢，呃，最珍贵的地方就是它能够提供一个我们在野外呢没有办法去处理的一个环境。这个人工气候室呢，跟生长箱又不一样。那人工气候室它用的这个是自然的光线，那里面的这些湿度的环境呢，还有光线的环境，还有模拟出来温度的环境，比较接近田间的这个状态。那所以呢，在这里面做的这个实验呢，它的这个资料呢的可靠性跟田间是比较相近的，而且同时有这么多不同的温度，我们可以完成在不同环境下的这个影响的这种研究。所以我想这个是我对它最高度肯定的地方。NTU Phytotron has eight natural light glass rooms, four artificial light rooms, one LED lighted room, and a low temperature dark room. They provide the plant growth facilities to support the research and teaching for NTU scientists, professors, and students. Each year, the research projects run in NTU Phytotron were around 80 to 100 events. The NTU Phytotron is the most stable artificial climate system for plant growing in Taiwan. We use the computer to control temperature of all culture rooms. The natural light rooms can provide the temperature from 13 to 35 degrees Celsius. The artificial light rooms can stimulate natural sunlight through controlling light intensity and photo period. The low temperature dark rooms can provide temperatures as low as negative 5 degrees Celsius, thus simulating extreme environments. In NTU Phytotron, there are three computer systems to monitor the temperature conditions in culture rooms. They're nicknamed Robin, Jason, and Lily. Robin is the first-generation system in charge of controlling temperature in culture rooms. Jason is the second-generation system with variable frequency drives to save energy. Lily is the third-generation system and used to monitor Robin and Jason. It can report all faults from the previous two systems in real time. We provide to users is from 13 degrees to 35 degrees in this range of temperature environment. Then we provide every temperature. We provide to users when they are using the system, their temperature is at the upper end. After a long period of time, it can reach 0.5 degrees Celsius. That means it increases one half of the temperature. In the first time, if the machine is in a breakdown, it can immediately alert us. We can let 整个实验的过程中绝对不会中断。我觉得这一部分的系统对我们来说是非常重要的技术。In order to prevent pests and diseases, new plant materials must be inspected for pests prior to being moved into culture rooms. Our staff checks plant conditions daily. All environmental data collected from culture rooms are online. All researchers can get the references, including temperature, moisture, light intensity, and photo period, from the website. Moreover. There are high-resolution webcams set up in culture rooms, so researchers can monitor their plant growing on their own computer. The first Phytotron in the world was built in California in the 1940s. NTU Phytotron was established in 1969. It was the first Phytotron in Taiwan. For providing more plant growth area, a new NTU Phytotron was built and opened in 1993. 
Agronomy professor Li Fei Liu at National Taiwan University is the former director of the NTU Phytotron and also the pioneer to promote the computer automation on controlling environmental conditions of NTU Phytotron. Ah,都我都一直待在人工气候室。这个人工气候室呢，其实在国外是还算蛮多的啊。但是在台湾呢，就非常特殊。呃，从民国五六十四年我们开始使用以后呢，到台湾到目前为止，几乎都没有再有另